natural methods to relieve acid reflux and heartburn, three effective ways. Today, we're going to look at the underlying causes of acid reflux and heartburn and discuss what you may do to put an end to the agony and pain permanently. Contrary to popular perception, having too much stomach acid is not the source of the burning sensation you experience in your chest after eating a substantial meal or particular foods. When the lower esophageal sphincter, LES, doesn't close all the way, stomach acid can splash into the esophagus and cause acid reflux and heartburn. But before we continue, don't forget to turn on the notifications bell and subscribe to our channel for more daily advice like this. Hypochlorhydria, also known as low stomach acid, is 90% of the time the cause of LES dysfunction. Low stomach acid, or hypochlorhydria, is the cause of this because the lower esophageal sphincter must be signaled to close by sufficient levels of stomach acid. Unfortunately, when people age, eat poorly, and are stressed, their stomach acid levels decrease. Atrophic gastritis, a persistent inflammation of the stomach lining, has been linked to the little to no acid output in 30 to 40 percent of men and women over the age of 60, according to studies. If hypochlorhydria is untreated and heartburn happens more than twice a week, it can develop into GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. This can lead to serious complications like scarring, ulceration, and cancer of the esophagus. GERD is a very common disease. About 20% of Americans, according to researchers, are thought to have GERD. Acid reflux and GERD symptoms other than heartburn include smelling acid that has been regurgitated, having trouble swallowing, having a sore throat, a dry cough, hiccups, bloating, black stools, nausea, vomiting, excruciating cramps, and pain while lying down. For many years, antacids or acid blockers have been prescribed by doctors to treat patients with GERD and heartburn. Despite the fact that these medications can reduce symptoms, they don't deal with the underlying reason. Many users of acid blockers thus become dependent on them for the remainder of their lives. This is critical because the adverse effects of these drugs may cause osteoporosis, bacterial infections, liver and kidney damage, and other issues. It's crucial to comprehend the reasons why low stomach acid produces acid reflux in order to treat the problem at its source. When food enters the stomach, it produces hydrochloric acid, a potent acid with a pH range of 1.5 to 3.0. Gastric acid, commonly known as stomach acid, is crucial for breaking down food, especially proteins and meats. It helps destroy microorganisms in the diet and creates enzymes essential for digestion such as pepsin. When the mixture of food, hydrochloric acid and enzymes called chyme reaches the proper pH, gastric acid signals the pyloric sphincter at the bottom of the stomach to open and release it into the small intestine. If you have a low stomach acid, the chyme will not be broken down properly and this creates an environment that is conducive to the growth of bacteria. These microorganisms consume the fermenting carbohydrates in the stomach. Food that hasn't been properly digested and an invasion of germs can increase stomach pressure. The only way for the body to release pressure when there is too much pressure in the stomach but the pH isn't acidic enough for the pyloric sphincter to open is by opening up the LES. Heartburn and acid reflux, which are sometimes misunderstood as having high stomach acid, are brought on by the pressure that is released into the esophagus. Even if your stomach produces little acid, any amount that passes from your stomach to your esophagus will hurt or create discomfort. Heartburn and acid reflux symptoms, which are sometimes misunderstood as having high stomach acid, are brought on by the pressure that is released into the esophagus. Even if your stomach produces little acid, any amount that passes from your stomach to your esophagus will hurt or create discomfort. This is due to the fact that your esophagus was not created to withstand stomach acid. The LES weakens and becomes leaky when this occurs frequently, which exacerbates the issue. 
Low stomach acid causes inflammation in the digestive system and other parts of the body. Your small intestine is harmed by chronic inflammation, which also makes it difficult to digest and absorb nutrients, raises your risk of food intolerances, initiates small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or SIBO, and results in leaky gut. Are you finding the information to be interesting thus far? Now, you might be wondering what causes low stomach acid. Low stomach acid can be caused by many things. These include becoming older, eating poorly, experiencing chronic stress or inflammation, taking antacids or proton pump inhibitors PPIs, and not getting enough of the nutrients needed to produce stomach acid. Hypothyroidism, which is left untreated, is another factor in low stomach acid production. This is so because stomach acid production depends on thyroid hormone. The bacterial illness known as pylori, which affects the stomach, might hinder the production of stomach acid. This can result in SIBO and poor iron and vitamin B12 absorption. The three measures that follow will help you raise your stomach acid and prevent GERD, heartburn, and acid reflux. You can treat hypochlorhydria with betaine hydrochloride or betaine HCl as the initial step in increasing your stomach acid naturally. Foods like wheat and beets contain a substance called betaine. Betaine HCl is an acidic version of betaine that functions similarly to stomach hydrochloric acid. Take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar ACV, to see if your stomach lining is prepared before taking HCl supplements. ACV encourages the development of stomach acid. If you experience burning in your stomach, you should wait before taking supplements. To help your digestion, consume a tablespoon of ACV with each meal for 4 to 6 weeks. Till you can tolerate it, dilute it with water. After consuming ACV, if you do not feel any discomfort, you are prepared to take 1 to 2 betaine HCL tablets together with a meal. This lessens the bloating and discomfort that might follow after eating foods high in protein. It may be necessary to gradually reduce your dosage after initially increasing it until no longer experiencing burning or pain. Next, you need to confirm that your diet has the recommended amounts of potassium, sodium, and zinc. Your body requires these nutrients in order to make stomach acid. The third thing you should do is lessen your tension. Your abdominal muscles may stiffen as a result of stress. Researchers discover that persons with GERD and acid reflux who were nervous and stressed were more painfully affected by even tiny levels of esophageal acid and reported more painful symptoms. Correcting low stomach acid takes time. Here are four things you may do if you already have acid reflux to lessen inflammation and ease pain and discomfort. Start by avoiding foods that cause acid reflux and GERD symptoms or make them worse. Steer clear of meals that cause heartburn. Reduce your intake of carbohydrates, especially those that have been refined as they can lead to bacterial overgrowth, gas, and bloating. Avoid gluten-containing foods because they frequently cause heartburn. Reduce your intake of foods heavy in fat because they create heartburn. It's not just fast food, pizza, Fried food and potato chips though, it also contains beneficial fats from dairy products, almonds, and avocados. Cholecystokinin CCK, a hormone that relaxes the LES and causes heartburn, is released when high-fat foods are eaten. Additionally, stay away from foods and beverages like peppermint, coffee, carbonated beverages, chocolates, alcohol, citrus fruits, onion, garlic, tomatoes, peppers, and spicy foods that cause acid reflux. Then, include these anti-inflammatory meals and beverages to reduce and aid in acid reflux. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, turnips, carrots, spinach, broccoli, green peas, lentils, and mushrooms are examples of root, leafy, and legume vegetables. These aid in digestion and are high in fiber. Fruits without citrus that are low in acid such as watermelon, apples, bananas, and pears. Entire grains with a high fiber content like quinoa, brown rice, and oatmeal. Lactic acid-producing foods including yogurt, 
sauerkraut and kimchi. These aid in raising stomach acid and contain probiotics. Ginger, chamomile tea and plenty of excellent clean water, low fat, lean proteins like chicken, fish, shellfish, tofu, and egg whites that are baked, broiled, poached, or grilled. Third, alter your way of life. Try sleeping on your left side if your heartburn keeps you up at night, because it's simpler for stomach acid to enter the esophagus and create heartburn when you sleep on your right side, it can make reflux symptoms worse. For the same reason, you can use a wedge or raise the head of your bed to elevate your upper body as you sleep. To give your body more time to digest, have smaller, more frequent meals, and eat dinner at least 3 hours before bed. Finally, try these effective natural treatments for acid reflux. In trials, participants who took melatonin were able to reverse their GERD symptoms, but only roughly two-thirds of those who took PPI succeeded. Without affecting the generation of gastric acid, the licorice extract DGL has been shown to inhibit inflammation and reduce heartburn by 50%. It is well known that demulcent herbs such as slippery elm and marshmallow root powder quickly ease reflux symptoms. They become extremely sticky and cover the lining of the stomach and esophagus when combined with water. The mucus layer is shielded by this barrier, which also lessens inflammation. I hope this helps you well in relieving your acid reflux and heartburn. If you enjoyed watching Vital Health TV and learned something from this video, Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching!